Alright guys, welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21 and welcome to day two of the Open Championship. So we shot eight under in round one which put us in a tie for the lead so hopefully we can have a good second round here now and we'll jump in and play that now. We'll talk a little bit about day one of the Open in real life. Uh, obviously one of my picks, one of the people I shouted out in my first video, Louis U stays in the leads at six under now. I'm really happy with that, not just because I, uh, not just because he was one of my top three picks in uh, in round one, but I also had him backed in real life for to be round one leader. Sorry, I was confusing myself there. What I wanted to say, but yeah, I had him backed at thirty three to one to be the round one leader. So very happy with that. That's a nice start to the week. Pick up a few quid on that. But uh, yeah, a lot of other players did well. Jordan Speed. I have to say, I've, it's been a long time since I've seen Jordan Speed put as well as he did yesterday. So really, really impressive. He's going to be dangerous, I think, coming into the weekend and stuff. Oh, there's a red fast to start off. But yeah, Jordan is one behind Louis, but uh, obviously I would love to see Louis hold on. Um, as I said in round one, I've I backed him in the last couple of majors and he's finished second, but obviously I got a little bit of my own back yesterday by having him backed as round one leader. But um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Obviously, still a long way to go. It's only Friday after all. They probably started teeing off about two hours ago. I'm recording this just before 9 a.m. So once I'm done this, I'll start watching it again. But yeah, it was a it was a good opening day. I have to say, I didn't expect the scoring to be as nearly as good as it was. But um, I don't think that will stay that way all week. There we go. There's a red fast and a red slow to start off. But yeah, I think the course will play a lot tougher. I think it's a little bit um, it's playing a little bit soft. So around the green, certainly anyway. So. It's not as fiery as it could be, so I expect that to get a lot tougher as the days go on. It's not your best swing, but Jesus, I'm making a ham to this opening hole. Fourth shot. Up and down for bogey now. There we go. Oh, very nearly hold it for the power actually, but it's going to be a bogey. I wasn't really concentrating at all there on that opening hole, so we'll have to do a lot better than that. So we drop back to seven under par. Sitting at seven under for the round. But yeah, it was a really good day. A really good opening day of the Open Championship. A lot of people playing well. Brian Harmon probably got off to the best start of anybody. I think, I think he was four under through five holes or something like that. It was looking like he was going to run away, but. Thankfully for me, anyway, Louis managed to hold on to the lead at 600. He actually got he got up and down from about 80 or 90 yards on the 18th for par. Because after hitting a good drive, his ball somehow found the bunker and he just had to lay up. So that was you can imagine how I was feeling watching that. And only had to get up and down from 90 yards. And thankfully he did it. Second shot on hole number two. It's a tie for the lead wouldn't have been much good to me. I would have only gotten each way on him, but... Thankfully, he got up and down for the win. All right, let's see if we can get this bogey back straight away here. It's a little bit of a slow, but again, you won't get much closer to a perfect than that. Yeah, it's not too bad, well, not too bad. Round two is gonna be tough, I think, with these high wins. Not sure I've hit that. Looking super. Oh, I did hit it, I just didn't have the right line. Oh, right, Power at the second, and at least that steadies, steadies us up a little bit after the bogey on one. Ten. Yeah, just let me have a look at the leaderboard, see is there anybody else I wanted to talk about. Webb Simpson, Stuart Sink, 4 under. It's amazing still to see Stuart Sink at 48 doing as well as he's doing. He's won twice this year already on the PGA Tour, so will happen on the third very, very impressive. Now. Probably one of the most unpopular Open champions there is. Not because of who he is, he's a nice guy, but obviously he beat Tom Watson in 2009 in a playoff. So I wouldn't say his even his own family <laughs> wanted him to win. Maybe that's a bit extreme, but yeah, very good player though, Stuart Sink. That needs a big hop. Yeah, it's as good as I could have done. Really, I couldn't really hit driver there into that part three. Right? And here's your second shot here on the third. Oh, I didn't need the spin. If I didn't put oh, spin on that, it might have had a chance. 
All right, two powers in a row. Nice putt. Let's move on. But yeah, Webb Simpson up there as well. U.S. Open champion, players champion. He's only okay, two behind. Lou Eustace and, and so. For the moment. Again, so many, so many good players that can, are still within a good shout. As I said, it's still very early. You know. Okay, careful of the headwind out there. You won't really get a, a true picture of who's going to win until probably the back nine on Saturday. You know, when it starts to starts to open up. It's strong wind here. I might not even reach the fairway with this, actually. No, I'm not going to. Those Should have just laid up. All right, setting up here deep in the spinach. Oh, that's not Close good either. Eyes, I think we're in the rough. It's not a good layup either. This is what our third shot's looking like. So we haven't like. made a good start to this round, that's for sure. Just try and get this somewhere close. That's coming up way short. Went up quite a few clubs there as well, and it's still not Here enough. Here we go. Let's, let's save power on this one. Yeah, give it a go on yeah, but it's gonna be another bogey. And about five feet to go. It's gonna be another bogey. And we dropped the two over for the round. Six under overall. Uh let me see, is there anybody at Colin Morikawa? He's four under, he's only two behind. Um not someone I really tipped going into it, didn't expect him to do well, but the thing is He's as good as an, an iron player, I think, like that there is out there. So that'll one. certainly help him in Lynx Golf. You know, you have to hit your iron as well. So. Certainly wouldn't be surprised to see him win it at the end of the week. Thought that I was going to get a lot more carry on that than I did. Deep stuff. You might need a, a club or two extra on this shot. It's another red fast. You Another red fast. On this one. It is extremely long. Probably not the best idea to be playing these rounds early in the morning, but as I said, I just wanted to talk a little bit about day one before jumping in and starting to watch round two. Mm, lacking a little bit of pace on the line, but muscle into that one. not a bad effort. All right, we've got this left for par. Alright, it's the two over for the round. Two over for the round. A couple of other players who did well. It was nice to see Molinari doing well again. Obviously won it in 2018, but been a little bit quiet since then. Um, he's three under, so again only three behind. Tommy Fleetwood is there as well, three behind. So Any amount of players can still win it. Oh, big hop up now. Mm -hmm. Still a little bit short. Safe approach. Nice. Still a little bit short. Here we go. Birdie putt coming up. That's too hard. That's it. Oh, it might not Get be. It might not be. Oh, it's right in the middle. Smokes. How did that go How about that? How nice way to pick up our first birdie of the day, and we have a par five to come as well. So hopefully we can get back to level par for the round. Eight under for the tournament. But uh, yeah, feel free to join the society, guys, as I said in round one, if you haven't done so already. It's the same name as the YouTube channel, here's Johnny94, and uh, usually it's only two round events, um, but just for the majors, I've been doing four rounds, so Seven, feel free to join if you haven't already, and uh, see how you can get on at Royal St. George's. Okay, tailwind blowing with us on this one. 20 mile an hour wind, whoa. Gonna run out of fairway if we go too far down the right, so gonna have to try and take some of the corner off. Not like that though. Not with a red fast. It's, Setting up it's a very bad drive. Stuff. Very bad drive indeed. Alright, just lay it up. Try and make birdie the old fashioned way. And we're back in the fairway. Setting up for our third shot. And one stroke off the lead. It's red fast again. My tempo has There's not been good in this round. But I got away with it there. To deal with. Ugh, rolled right by. 
Good luck here. This Wasn't is a good par. putt. We rushed that putt a little bit. That'll do so nicely. Should have been back to level par for the round, but we're not. We stay at one over. Disappointing par there. And after that one, you're sitting at seven under. Very disappointing par. We're still tied for the lead though, seven under. Best of luck to you on this part. So I'm not the only one struggling around too. Great contact. It's a pretty good drive. And this one is around 180 yards to the pin. Tough to judge the club in these winds, especially when you have a downhill shot as well, but I think you can nearly forget about that with that wind. No, a little bit of a slow on that is just going to go miles right because of the, the right on the approach here because of that wind. Well, that approach kind of missed the mark a little bit. Fingers crossed for a nice up and up down and out of this greenside bunker. Try to splash hat even though I don't like him. It's not bad. Oh, it was a red fast, but just that out of the bunker. Very if I'd have been tried to hit a parcel, it wouldn't have worked, but and that will work. It's not too bad the way it worked out, so I saved the power and anyway. Seven under for the round. But yeah, if I was to say who I think is gonna lead after round two, I'd be honest, I'd have to say Jordan Speed. As I said, he's he shot five under. Uh, I think he was one. He's definitely won over early anyway in his round yesterday, and I think he had four birdies in a row. So he um, he looks very good. He looks really good. Great swing. Should be per oh, I don't know how I've got between the two of them bunkers. I really don't. That's a slice of luck now. If ever I've seen one to take advantage but yeah i really do think jordan will be the man in round two can be difficult to back up a good round with another good one but i think if anybody's going to do it it'll be him especially the way he putted yesterday as i said it's been a long time since i've seen him putt that well going towards that hole all right that's a good birdie there it's a little bit lucky with the drive i don't know how that I don't know how the ball got between the two bunkers there, but we'll take it. No comments on the scorecard, as they say. We're in the lead now, I think. All right, let's have a nice tee shot and land it nicely in that fairway. Let's hold straight into the teeth of the wind up. That's not what you want to do. 227 yard drive. Okay, we are very deep in the rough here. Crazy. Be careful with this one. All right, just hack it out. Try and get as close as possible. Save the par. All right, we're out of the dirty stuff into the short stuff here. Let's uh, let's regroup. No, that's not good at all. My touch is not there this morning. It's not there whatsoever. Looks like we're going to oh, drop back again. Shot. Oh my god, already very fast. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ. I wish you could have that one back. Yikes. Setting up for your fifth stroke here. Okay, double bogey pot. Here we double go. Double bogey. Alright, we've done well to get back to the level and part. And in the hole. We've thrown it away there on the back nine, on the tent. Double bogey, drop back to six under par. Six under. Two behind. Okay, this hole, we got a tailwind to deal with. We've got a couple bogeys, a couple birdies though, to balance those out. You need to get something going here in this event. Game is lagging a little bit for me for some reason. I don't know whether that's the servers or this course in particular, but it's lagging a little bit. You can probably see it in the video yourselves, but it's just lagging for whatever reason. Sometimes you do get that. Good pace, got it 75%. Did I give it too much break? Yeah, it didn't really move at all at the end. Good pace though from where I was. 
So far, so good. We tied it up with a par on it. And we're in there for All the right. par. Let's see if we can shoot an under par round. We still have a par five to come. Six under par Let's see if we can get the nine under. Hole number 12 coming out. This might be drivable actually with this win, but again, you need a lucky bounce. We need a, we need a bounce like something we, something like what we got on the ninth hole. Strike was good. Ah, it's going to bounce in the rough and take all the distance out of it. Yeah. Don't think we would have reached any so that's a pretty decent layup. Well, let's see if we can get this pitch close. My touch so far on the pitches hasn't been good. That's not great either, but it's going to be alright. It should spin. That'll work. All right, chance. This putt is about 11 feet. It's getting there. All right, that's a good birdie there. Good nice birdie. There with the birdie. Gets us back to 7 under. Let's see if we can birdie the 13th. That'll get us back to level par, and then we'll have a par 5 at the moment. to try and get under par. So we can still have an under par round as bad as we've been. Tailwind blowing. Uh, That's a good one. Like one of the better drives so far. Got about 125 to the pin. And ever so close. One stroke. I'm actually going to go back to, a gap, to the lob wedge here. Strike was good. That should bounce forward now with the D loft and top spin. Yeah, it's pretty good. Nothing wrong with that. And that wind, that's okay, pretty good. Tough to ju judge the distance feet. there, but. Well, the putt appears to be online. All right, good birdie. Nice Two birdies in a row. As I said, a par five to come. We can get under par now for this round. It's been a good response to that double bogey. Try not to throw it away this time. We were two over Here before and got back to level and then threw it away. So oh, we're into the wind. Oh, that's a red slow. That's going to be in that water, is it? Oh, this one's dropping. This needs to get lucky. Are those out of bounds stakes as well? No, surely not. Oh, no. Water. I wouldn't think they are. No, they're not. Okay, here's our third shot. This should be yellow or red for water, not for white. White is out of bounds. That could be in it again, actually. Careful there. I'm trying my best to make a mess of it again. Oh. That's too bad. And from the fairway bunker. Why is that going so far, right? Too well, much on it anyway, but Jesus, how did that go that far right? Still not high enough, I don't think. No. It's going to be another double bug. Yeah, I did say it to you off. This is three times now I've been two over. Can I get back to level par again for a third time and actually stayed there? Oh, it's been one of them rounds. I haven't had my breakfast or anything like that though, so that's what I'm going to blame it on in here. You just can blame it on whatever you want. That's what I'm going to use as my excuse. Wind is blowing right to left on this one. Right. That's going to be in that bunker somehow. It's not a, it's not the worst drive, it's just a tiny little bit fast. Sorry about that. I uh, may have misled you. Don't think I can get there now either. I'm going to have to lay up. That's all we can do. And good job. That's the safe choice, getting it back in the fairway. It's not an easy pin either, I'll tell you. Look at where that pin is. I'll take that. Good luck on this one. It's on a Car tiny little off. shelf, like literally if you're right or long here, it's just it's a bit crazy. It could be a good one. And in the end, it's a good par. And that's your par. Two over seems to be the number we want to finish on. We haven't gone above it. We haven't gone to three over, but we somehow keep going back to it. So 
Let's see if we can find two birdies in the last three this to get back to level. Three. Silky no, swing. Fast. I don't think the distance was too bad, though. The distance was pretty good. Just hit a little bit fast. Good luck. Good luck. Just hit the hole. Ooh. All right, nice little tiny bit back. less pace, and that's in. All right, let's head to the next. <coughs> oh, bless me. Excuse me. And yeah, tiny bit less pace, and that you was in. That when you're at six under. All right, we need to finish with birdie birdie. I think we went birdie birdie in round one and 17 and 18, so let's try and do it again. Beauty of a swing there. Should be okay, depending on the bounce. Yeah, it's perfect. This is about 160 to perfect. the pin and two strokes from our leader. And tiny fast again. Could be slightly too much club. Tiny bit Here fast. We're, We're going to need the hole up pot. Oh, it could be. Hit the, oh, the last one a little bit hard on the 16th, yeah, and of course I leave that one a little bit short. Here. Then trying to compensate, but let's see how this all adds up. All right, one more another. We're going to be over par. It's just a question of how many now. Six under for the round. It's been disappointing stuff. Hasn't been easy, though. In fairness, the wind has been very high. Here on the final hole of this one. Jesus, but it doesn't help when you're doing that uh, shit though either, that does it? Could be rough, could be I mean, another enough. bunker. Okay, setting up in the bunker here. It's actually a pretty good shot. It's gonna be a birdie putt somehow. Oh, well, at least you're on the green. You're not in that beach. Let's see if we can finish with a nice 31 footer on to cup. finish. There's a chance, you know. Oh, this one could drop. Right, right in the middle. And nice way to finish. So quick, just like but it's still going to be a one over par 71. Okay. <clears> Excuse me. Poor stuff. Very poor stuff. But a nice party there to finish. Very nice party. All right, let's see what the leaderboard is like. Finishing off at the seven under on the scorecard. Not too shabby out there. I did under leads. And with that, we will part ways, but hopefully we'll see you back here. So even after one over, still only one behind, so. Uh, yeah, not too, not too bad. It wasn't good. <clears throat> excuse me, it wasn't good. But as I said, I haven't had my breakfast renting, so that's the excuse I'm going with. But, uh. Thanks for joining me as always. Uh, enjoy day two of the Open. I'm going to go and watch it now. But uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be good. We'll see some good playing again. As I said, I don't. I'd be surprised to see the scoring as good as it was yesterday on Thursday. So I'm sure it'll play a little bit more difficult. They might tuck a few pins away in tough positions. But it should still be a good watch. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you are watching. And uh, hit subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. I'll see you tomorrow for day three of the Open Championship. But until then, take care guys. See you soon. Peace.